Chapter 5. Warships on the Waves. We found our story, said Jack. Yay, said Annie. Indeed, said Brother Patrick. But alas, Brother Michael has not yet completed his work. You will have to return for it. Oh, shoot, said Annie. Jack was disappointed, too. I don't know if we'll be able to come back, he said. I don't know if we can even leave without the story, said Annie. Brother Patrick looked puzzled. The two kids looked at each other, then back at Brother Patrick. It was too hard to explain about the treehouse and how the magic worked. Jack shrugged. We'll just have to try, he said. Outside the church, bell began ringing. It's time now for our sunrise prayers, said Patrick. Will you join us? Yes, but we better try to go home now, said Jack. Brother Patrick nodded and led them to the garden. When he opened the gate, they stopped. The horizon glowed pink and purple. The sun had started to rise. No one spoke as the great fiery ball rose slowly over the ocean. Finally, Brother Patrick broke the silence. Shine, O oh light of the sun, he said softly, on this day filled with wonder. That's beautiful, said Annie. Jack smiled. He agreed. Brother Patrick turned to them. It is such sights as this that inspire our bookmaking, he said. Now go, and may God be with you on your voyage home. Thanks, said Jack and Annie. Do you need me to guide you to your boat, he said. I don't think so, said Jack. Follow the path to the top of the cliff, said Brother Patrick. Then use my rope to help you down the steps. Okay, said Annie. Bye, and she went through the gate. Jack wanted to go home, but he hated leaving the monastery. It was filled with people doing his favorite things, reading and learning. I really like it here, he said to Brother Patrick. I'm glad, but you must go now while the weather is with you, said the monk. Everything can change in an instant. Then Brother Patrick turned and went into the church. Jack hurried out the gate. Before he went further, he stopped and pulled out his notebook. He quickly made two lists. To make a book, sheepskin, goose quill, paints. To make paint, earth, plants. Come on, Annie called from the top of the steps. Coming, Jack called. He put away his notebook and ran along the dirt path to the edge of the cliff. Overhead, flocks of gulls circled in the purple sky. Their cries sounded like screams. What's wrong with them? Jack said. Maybe, they're, oh, maybe they always do this at sunrise, said Annie. Let me go first. Clutching the rope, she started down the steps. Jack grabbed the rope and started down. The birds' cries went on. They worried him. They sounded like warnings. Jack reached the rocky ledge and let go of the rope. Let's go, Annie called from the treehouse. Jack looked at the horizon one last time. His heart nearly stopped. A ship was outlined against the sky. Behind it, he saw two smaller ships. As the ships came into view, their bright sails were filled with wind and their serpent prows blazed in the new sunlight. Oh no, Jack whispered. Vikings! <laughs>